With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The given question is a long charge cylinder of linear charge density lambda is surrounded by a hollow coaxial conducting cylinder. What is the electric field in the space between the two cylinders? So as I shown in the figure that there is a long charge cylinder that is inside the hollow coaxial conducting cylinder. Okay, so our inner cylinder is positively charged with a linear charge density lambda. So let us consider a length capital L that in which we are going to observe. So the charge on the surface of this length L on the cylinder is going to be plus lambda L. All right. So this is going to be everywhere. Okay. Now, as given in the question, the coaxial cylinder that is outside the long cylinder that is conducting. Okay. So this is going to conduct a negative charge that is same as that of the inside cylinder. Okay. So let's say it be minus lambda L. Okay. So due to which the charges will produce a electric field that is going from long charge cylinder to the hollow cylinder like this. Okay. There will be electric field inside this two cylinder that is inside the hollow cylinder will be like this. Okay. It will start from the long charge cylinder and it will terminate on the hollow coaxial conducting cylinder. Okay. So actually we have to find this. Okay. Now for this, let us consider a Gaussian surface that is inside the coaxial cylinder and outside the inner cylinder. Okay. So let's say this is our coaxial surface. Okay. This is also with going with the same length L. Okay. Now we know that the Gauss law says that integral E dot dA is equal to the total charge Q in upon epsilon naught. Okay. So we are going to use this equation as we know that the area of the surface is going to be actually we are observing it at a distance r okay so we can write the area of the cylinder directly as e multiplied by 2 pi r into l this is the surface area of the ocean surface okay now inside it the total charge q in can be said that it is equal to lambda l that is only in the inner cylinder upon epsilon naught okay from here L get cancelled and we get an electric field that we want as lambda upon 2 pi r epsilon naught. So this is the value of electric field that is required in the question we have asked for. Okay. So this is the electric field which is between the long charge cylinder and the hollow coaxial cylinder from here to here. Okay. So that's all for the question. Thanks for watching. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.